Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode Let's Play, where we're going to be diving into Elite Zoo North, of course, and picking things up right where we left off with our Southeast Asia expansion. There is so much to do today, folks, and I'm very excited to, well, at least try to pull it all off. Uh, want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Again, uh, looking at the number of likes and comments for me is a very quick read to see what people are interested in seeing more or less of on the channel. And a much longer read, I enjoy going through all the comments and seeing what y'all are thinking and saying, uh, you know, your opinions and all. I value them tremendously. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to see more Planet Zoo, keep letting me know, leave those likes and comments, please, and thank you. So, today, uh, we're going to be dealing with our Southeast Asia expansion, or rather, I should say, the beginnings of our Southeast Asia expansion. There are a couple of other things to tackle as well, um, but we'll, I think we're going to more or less start with a time lapse. I just want to address uh, some of my plans and some of the... Uh, concerns that were mentioned in the comments of the previous episode. So uh, first things first, there was some talk about <laughs> the age of, uh, of our new tiger. If uh, they're, they're both boxed, aren't they? Uh, can we unbox them? Can, I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause for a moment here because we should be able to unbox all animals and hopefully their welfare will skyrocket. Yes, okay. So um, our, uh, <laughs> our what, what a time to pause. Um, Sorry, our new tiger is a little bit on the older side, 12.5 years. And if we take a look at Zoopedia really quickly, uh, and we take a look at the Bengal tiger, you will see that the Bengal tiger lives until 15 years, and its uh, sexual sterility is actually unknown. So, I was taking, in my mind, I was taking a bit of a risk getting an older um, Bengal tiger. But, I figured it had good genetics. Uh, it was affordable as well, considering the conservation credits we had. So this may have been a bad idea. The appeal was also very high. So again, this may have been a bad idea. I may have made a mistake. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, sometimes you make mistakes, you gotta embrace them. Uh, what I could do is I could put him back up for trade, uh, you know, get some conservation credits back, and uh, and replace him with somebody else. That's definitely an option. And if I take a quick peek right now at, uh, not my storage, but Bengal Tigers out there, I mean, oh man, there's some really expensive ones. Uh, we might even just be able to buy one with some cold, hard cash. No, guess not. It's got to be conservation credits. Um, so worst case scenario, if uh, Arthur here does die without giving us any, you know, little kiddos, uh, what we can always do as much as I'd you know, rather not, what we can always do is we can get a either a lower uh, you know, quality tiger. There's some decent ones here actually that aren't too expensive. Uh, we could, so we could either do that or, or uh, we could trade out our uh, polar bear parents and also the, the other you know, veer. We can trade him out as well, get some decent conservation credits from that and then use those conservation credits to, to get a replacement. But I'm going to have faith in Arthur here. I'm going to say that he can do it. I'm going to say that they're going to have kids. Uh, or rather, I should say, I'm going to hope that they're going to have kids. Um, with that said, so this was a calculated risk, or perhaps it was a foolish risk. We'll find out, I suppose, in due time. With that said, though, I do want to read through Zoopedia more often. It's something I did more of at the beginning of this Let's Play, but then uh, as time went on, I would just kind of glance at it when I was building... Um, uh, enclosures and stuff uh, and I feel like that has definitely affected how I approach certain things and I want to be a bit more cognizant of the needs and wants of the uh, of the animals uh, one more thing I want to address actually about the uh, the tiger so the game as far as I understand and many of you corroborated this in the comments the game only takes um, inbreeding to be one step so if it's siblings or if it's uh, parent and child uh, that's considered inbreeding but I'm pretty sure that if um if Aradhya here has a daughter and that daughter mates with her brother, then it's not considered as inbreeding as per the game's mechanics. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And many of you said that said the same in, in the comments as well. So hopefully that's going to work out. We're going to find out again in due time, right? Uh, so that's that's tigers taken care of. Now quickly, with regards to, uh, just to let y'all know what I'm planning over here. So this uh, boat 
ride, which I do need to adjust to make sure that the boat is actually in the water and not hovering above it because that's just silly. Um, but this boat ride is going to go through the uh, the, the crocodile uh, enclosure, hopefully without it being too dangerous. We might need to fence it off, but it's going to go through there. It's going to go through the elephant and rhino enclosure as well. What I'm thinking we might do is we might uh, push up and then loop kind of around. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll see the uh, elephants and rhinos go through a waterfall kind of a thing over here. Uh, up over here, we might actually get into uh, like a like East Asia stuff. So we might see. Mm, actually, we'll probably loop around and get into East Asia over here. Seeing so some pandas and stuff like that. Uh, but then on the way back, like over here, looping back, I want to get some uh, orangutan as well because I do believe uh, we have access to the Bornean orangutan, which is of course in Southeast Asia. It's the Bornean kind of it's in it's in the name so i definitely want to get them in i love me some orangutan so i'd like to make a pretty large enclosure for them as well and perhaps you can take a boat ride through it so the boat ride is a pretty big tour that i'm planning uh and i might loop it back into the america section i might i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see but that's something uh that, that, that that's something that'll come up in the next couple of episodes i just wanted to episodes sorry I just wanted to uh, get my thoughts out there so I can, you know, see your feedback and your thoughts as well. Because, again, I always do love uh, reading uh, reading what y'all have to say. Um, so with that said, with all that done, I'll do one thing really quickly here, which is take a look at my uh, exhibit animals. Because we do have some offspring that we can very quickly take care of. We do have to do a little bit of exhibit work. And I think most of it I'm going to save for, for after the time lapse. Because I do want to get to the time lapse more or less immediately. It looks like we need a Brazilian Wandering Spider female. Um, let's go ahead and send all these to the Trade Center. Well, let's just do this first real quick. Okay, we've got a bunch of scorpions as well. There's a lot of money waiting to be made, which is why I want to do this first. I just want to see, like, if we end up with more than 132k to use during our time lapse, then, hey, that's, you know, for the better, right? Uh, I'm never comfortable with how many of these frogs should be removed. I guess 0 0.3 years. Y'all, y'all are young. You can go. You can go as well. And then we've got you over here. What else have we got? We've got a lot of peafowl that we can maybe get rid of as well. Nah, not really sure. Uh, 0 0.5 years over here. Wow, we should this this we should make bank off of this. A bunch of one-year-olds as well. Alright. And then we've got over here. I need to rename mom and dad for the uh, lesser Antillian iguana. Again, thank you all for pointing these little things out that I often kind of glaze over or completely miss uh, when I'm doing my management stuff. These beetles, man, they're a pain. I'm just not even going to label mom and dad. Oh, and we need to take care of the western diamondback rattlesnakes as well. All right, so send all you to the trade center. Trade center is full. Really? So now I can't even unch... Are you... You're kidding me. Okay, okay. Can I... Let's see if I scroll all the way to the bottom. Okay, I can uncheck them. Just uncheck enough so we can go ahead with a trade and then we'll do this uh, afterwards you sure let's do that move to the trade center i can't believe <laughs> i can't believe we have that much uh yeah quick trade that's 20k to make beautiful nice easy money and let's actually just quickly i'm uh, sorry I, I know i said i wanted to start with a time lapse but i, I do apologize i just want to get these things done because i often let these things go by the wayside so we need a diamondback rattlesnake you know, one quality of life improvement that this game could really make is if there was a button here. Oh, wait. There is. No, there isn't. That's only for your storage. There should be a... Oh. Nah, okay. So there should be a button here that automatically filters based on the animal that's currently in the exhibit. That's what I was... Uh, that would be a nice quality of life improvement, I think. Anyway, Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. We need ourselves a mommy. Um, got two options. Uh, only a slight age difference. The, the the genetic difference is huge. So let's go ahead and adopt you. Again, they're pretty cheap. Pop you in there. Label you as the mother. Right? Do a very quick once over over here. So we've got a bunch more that we can... Well, rather, let's go ahead and select all. We select the dad. I believe we need a new mom here. So to the trading center. And... Yeah. I wish it would auto auto filter. So Brazilian wandering spider over here. There we go. And we need a mom with decent genes, hopefully. Violetta looks like the ideal choice. Let's go with you. <laughs> I thought I put the spider on that woman there. And over here, how are we looking? We're good over here. You got to go, though. Done. And over here, it's good to see all these crowds. It's nice to see 
uh, like older parts of our zoo, still very active, still getting a lot of action. Super busy, this food court. Really, like, super busy, this food court. We're making... We're making... Decent money. This is not lifetime, right? This is just, yeah, this period. It's only March. We're making decent money down here. No vendor at this Grizzly Grill. You've made no money this entire... Hmm, that's a problem. Looney Balloons isn't very popular. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting distracted. My apologies. Uh, so that's that taken care of. Let's go ahead to our tavern as well. Because at the tavern, we have some issues, I believe. So the anacondas are fine. Over here, y'all are okay. Well, Pablo, you need to go. Over here, we've got... The frogs. So what's what's their deal actually? What's the frogs deal? They don't care. It seems. They don't care. Alright, well that's fine. Over here, y'all need to be named. So you are the mum and you, Marco, are the dad. Alright, so that should solve that problem up there. Down over here. We got a pregnant spider, so just gotta keep that in mind. And right, we've got all of you, except for mum and dad, that need to go. They breed so quickly. I really should do this like once at the beginning and once at the end of every ep every episode or something. All right. That should be it. Go ahead and select all. Another quick trade there. Another 8k made easy. So that was what? 28k made off of uh, quick trades right at the beginning? That's not bad. I wish I could make uh, conservation credits that easily. Because uh, I'd hate to think that I wasted wasted mine on, uh, on, t on tigers that... Well... I was going to say they can't get along. They can get along. They just shouldn't get along. Uh, all right, folks. Enough uh, of me saying I'm sorry for not starting the time lapse. It's time to, uh, time to start the time lapse. All right. This is a wild time lapse. It is about uh, two and a half hours worth of work that you're about to see. And I only mention that because it's sometimes cool to have a bit of a reference, in my opinion at least, of uh, just how much time is is passing, you know, when it's sped up like this. Uh, literally before I started recording the time lapse, I talked about how I should check out the Zoopedia more, and then I proceeded to record the time lapse without checking Zoopedia and talking about it. But as you can see, and you'll see every once in a while, I do double check uh, land requirements, water requirements, and climate requirements uh, to make sure that we are going to have happy animals when we finally put them in there. Um, so every once in a while, you'll see Zoopedia open up as I uh, do a double check, especially on the Gurriel. That is my focus uh, in terms of getting an animal in today, though I do work on both sides, on both halves of this exhibit. So it's good to hear Again, like I said before, I always look at the comments for feedback, and it's good to see that many, if not most, if not all of you, are excited to see this split exhibit idea. I think it's a good way to kind of integrate both of these animals into a similar space, uh, like they are in the real world. They're kind of in a similar, you know, geographical location. So I think it's going to be uh, pretty neat seeing them uh, side by side. And I have some ideas for education boards I want to build as well. Uh, like, I want to pretend as though these education boards, or at least there's one set of education boards that's like, here's the difference between the gurriel and the crocodile. I don't know. I think it'd be neat. Anyway, uh, you can see I built a little section underneath this walkway. So first of all, I moved the walkway over to create a more interesting viewing platform where you can see uh, both um, sets of animals from. Uh, this was recommended by some of you or, or, or requested by many of you in the uh, comments. So I decided, you know, I like the idea as well. So we went ahead and did that. And uh, with it, I also built a bit of a uh, like a bit of a, a land bridge, I guess, hoping that perhaps the Guriel could climb up there and uh, people might get a better view when they're walking by. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's worth a shot, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, you can see I'm kind of fussing about with the terrain over here a little bit as well, because because, you know, it just doesn't want to work. Um, so yeah, I, I mess around with it a little bit, but I don't want to rebuild the entire uh, path system over here. So I decide that I'll just accept it for what it is and I'll eventually cover it up with like rocks or vegetation or something anyway. And there is a lot of vegetation work that I'll be doing in this area as well. I want it to feel, you know, swampy, marshy and humid. I want to get a nice bit of greenery and stuff going on, but there's a lot of other stuff to deal with first. And that's uh, kind of the focus of this session today. Though you will see in a moment's time, I get a little distracted by vegetation, but more on that when we actually get there. Here, again, just building out our uh, our uh, the limits of our, of our habitat. I realize that the Gariel doesn't actually require uh, too much security. It only needs grade two barriers and uh, 
there's no height requirement, so I imagine that the minimum height is acceptable. So I decide that, you know what, all right, well, let's go and create something a bit more decorative rather than just the chain link fence that you can see I'm putting down right now. I, I put it down to see what it looks like. Uh, not a fan of it. Don't really like how it kind of, you know, looks right next to what I think is a, a rather good looking fence there for the uh, the Moria Plaza. So rather than just creating this uh, chain link fence, I decide to duplicate the Moria Plaza look and bring that over so we can extend that kind of traditional Indian aesthetic a bit further into uh, the zoo as well. So I think this will look quite nice uh, when it gets all done. And we're actually going to build a hard shelter space as well for the Gharial using that same kind of aesthetic. Not as gaudy and overdone. I didn't want to take away from the Moria Plaza kind of look and feel. I didn't want to I still want the Moria Plaza to feel like this, you know, a royal garden or, or something of that sort. Uh, whereas the Gharial is more like, oh yes, and this is where, you know, the king keeps his uh, his pet crocodile or whatever, right? Like, that's the kind of thing I'm going for. So I want it to be an extension of Moria Plaza, but uh, but a little different as well. Um, not as not as gaudy. Uh, so here you can see, like I said, I get distracted by vegetation momentarily because many of you have been saying I need to add more greenery, I need to add more vegetation, and many of you pointed out I need to add more uh, toilet blocks and info centers and uh, you know food spots en route to the tigers because some people who don't want to see the peacock or the peafowl rather uh, they might end up you know going a long way without food or shelter or anything. And I was like, wow, that's a solid point. So let's go ahead and. Uh, make this little tree side, you know, picnic spot almost. So I'm using the, you know, exposed flooring, uh, you know, the exposed path there, keeping it open to the grass. I think it looks nice, you know, get your, uh, you know, it's it's comfy walking on grass sometimes. Uh, but yeah, just getting some bins in, getting some benches in. I've got an info center as well as, oh, I can't remember what, was. so one of them's a drink stall. I think it's a gulpy, uh, Oh, I can't remember. And I don't think I check after the time lapse either. I will double check next session. Sorry, folks. But yeah, I've got a drink there. I've got uh, a, a, an eatery and I've got an info center as well. So we can cover all of our bases. And you can see just creating this like just, you know, nice uh, shaded area with a bunch of trees and stuff. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, and, and I've said countless times that I do want to get more vegetation going. And I figured I say that all the time. Why not just do it while we're in the middle of this time lapse anyway? Uh, so... Hopefully that looks nice. Uh, I, I think it looks quite nice. I really like the colors from the tamarind trees as well. The, the orange is very vibrant uh, and it fits the area and the aesthetic as a whole. Anyway, back to the Gharial. So again, completely sidetracked there. My apologies. But now we pull back in uh, to the Gharial enclosure and uh, I try to figure out how I want to build the... Uh, um, the, the, the hard shelter, the, the area that the Gharial is kept. Uh, so again, copying the same aesthetic style but not wanting to make it as, you know, I keep using the word gaudy and there really is no other word for it. Like, Moria Plaza has just so much going on and I like how it looks, don't get me wrong. I like how it's got these, you know, pillars and, you know, the, the those like, you know, beautiful curved arches and stuff, but I didn't want to do the same thing over here. So you'll see I used the, uh, the flooring system there to get a nice looking, you know, nice sort of tile looking floor situation going on. Uh, adjusting these rocks because I wanted to create a nice blend from the, uh, uh, from the hard shelter area to the actual water. Um, but you'll actually notice afterwards when we start to play, uh, unfortunately the, the Gharial isn't able to understand that as traversable terrain for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it just didn't, didn't like it. Uh, but here again as well, you can see, just getting the vegetation in right away because why not? Uh, I need to start doing that with vegetation and lighting. Now lighting I don't do this session because I just wanted to get... There's a lot to do and I want to do nighttime stuff all together once we had both animals in. So we don't do lighting, but I need to get better at doing lighting and, uh, and vegetation just on the go so we don't have to come back and, and fill in gaps later on. Anyway, so we get down some pillars obviously because, you know, you got to support the... Uh, the uh, ceiling somehow, and I wanted to build, uh, it's almost like its own little house, you know, there's a little home that it stays in, and it's going to have a little balcony of its own, I don't know, it just felt right, and you can see I'm over here just messing around with some roofing options, I, I, I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, unfortunately, um, I wanted, oh, you know, in hindsight, wow, I literally just realized how I could have done it, I wanted roofing that pointed inwards rather than outwards, and, uh, wow. Anyway, I didn't do it. I did something else over here, as you can see. Uh, using these pieces that feel like they match a bit more, uh, you know, aesthetically, again, they, they, they match the, the style a bit better. I decided to, um, 
create the the roof over here and we're also going to do some you know good old-fashioned vegetation like rooftop gardening style like we've done before i just like how that looks it changes the you know color looking from the top and as you can see over here for some reason i built this whole thing at an angle so i have to go in and fix that now um but yeah it um i think it just brings a, a nice bit of life to to the zoo and looking down from the top so uh, you'll see i add the uh sandstone flooring the plain sandstone flooring to act as my roof over here because i didn't want anything too uh you know curvy or pointed or anything like that and uh then i believe yeah i put down some trees i so initially i didn't want to do the rooftop garden i was like okay let's see if we can do it some other way and, and and make it look busy enough so i put down some trees and i was like you know what that still looks just like a block of like it looks like a brick it looks like a giant brick so i decided to bring these guys in and you know as usual again i i there are these certain plants that i really like the look of i really like the colors of uh so i can't help myself and they're the right um uh, the, the right biome as well as the right continent so it becomes easy to go with uh, but of course I want to build a little like parapet kind of a thing to make it feel like the planter has some you know dimensionality to it unfortunately I realized that uh, I won't be able to overlap and overlay those pieces that I was using earlier because of the decorative elements so I have to go in with a much plainer piece but that's okay I don't mind because it does uh, it's, it's going to disappear into the uh, into the actual structure itself so it's not going to make a very big difference uh, if it doesn't have miniature decorative elements all over it um, but yeah, so just get the planter ready, and I gotta make the plants a little bit bigger over here, so I'm just gonna spend a quick minute to spread out the, uh, uh, well, again, it's all the same vegetation. I've, I've, I've found my favorite vegetation options in Planet Zoo, apparently. Um, it's just so pretty. But yeah, nothing too crazy. You know, we've seen, we've seen this kind of stuff before, but you can see it's a simple kind of hut kind of a situation where I feel like the Karyol could chill, hide from the rain and the snow, eat, um, and people will get a good view as well. Anyway, now we move on to the crocodile area. So first things first, I actually lower our uh, ride there because as many of you pointed out, the railing was actually above the water. So it would look like the boat is afloat as opposed to, you know, actually in the water. So I adjust that really quickly and then move on to uh, to building some of these pieces. So while I was doing the uh, the Gariel section, for which, by the way, I still need a name, uh, I came across this uh, corrugated I guess it's, I think it's just called corrugated sheet piece, which is almost exactly what I was looking for last time. Uh, but as I lay it out now, I, I like how it's looking. Uh, it, it has the right aesthetic. But as I started putting more and more of it down, I just started feeling like it looked a little too cheap. It, it uh, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of repetitive. And yeah, you can change the colors around, but it just didn't feel like exactly what I wanted. And then I started playing around with some other pieces. And I think this is why this uh, time lapse ended up taking so long is because I kept on, you know, if there's a time to experiment, it's now, right? So now I'm like, okay, it doesn't work as a wall. What about as a roof? Let's go ahead and put down these corrugated pieces as a roof. And I, again, I like how that looks and it, you know, it works, um, but it still wasn't nailing the look that I was going for. So uh, you'll notice, especially now, I think a couple of times the, the camera will just kind of hold still. That's me flipping through, I don't even know how many references I was flipping through to try and get a better idea of what things should maybe look like. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, slowly but surely, I replace all the corrugated pieces, almost all the corrugated pieces. I keep some here and there where uh, I feel like it'll work. And you can see I'm, yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's me looking up some references because I was like, hold on a second. How do I do the roofs? Um, and I realized I could actually use the East Asia roof sets. They do make sense. They look quite nice as well. And if I go in with some custom pieces and, and, and customize them a little bit, then we can uh, hopefully make them feel a little less refined. Because right now they're very clean and they feel very refined. So hopefully with a little bit of modification and with enough of these log pieces that look very unrefined, they'll combine together to create a, a slightly... You, they'll come together to create a balance between the two, basically. Uh, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Um, but yeah, you can see, just trying to find the pieces. Again, I, I did all my reference hunting, and I did dig around some of the pieces that we can use, but about halfway through this time lapse, you know, about like, what, 30 seconds ago, as, as far as you can tell, um, I, I threw it all out the window, and I was like, let's, let's do something else, because <laughs> I can't help myself. But yeah, you can see, again, using those log pieces, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. I feel like it's got the right aesthetic to it and you'll see again just bringing in some random log pieces to fill in the gaps because i feel like that gives it that haphazard look which is a, a, a core part of this aesthetic is that it should look you know uh quickly put together or well yeah it should look 
you know, somewhat quickly put together. That's why I like using these log pieces a lot. Uh, and then I decide to use a different colored roof over here as well. Again, uh, and you know, in hindsight, I wish I'd done more of that because I like how it stands out. It feels Again, quickly put together, it feels like these are different people with their different stores, because uh, that's what this is supposed to be. This is like the market area by the, uh, you know, by the water. Uh, you know, I imagine you'd be buying things like fish and whatnot at these stalls. Um, but uh, I digress. Point being, I wanted to feel like each of these belong to an individual shopkeeper, and so we've got that, you know, that one guy really likes that roof color or whatever. Um, so yeah, and I like how it stands out actually. If I if I zoom out. At one point, I zoom out and I kind of show you how, how it looks, and I actually extend it over the walkway a little bit as well. I really like how it ends up looking. And over here, we're actually using some of the, uh, you know, East Asia, supposed to be China, I think, uh, pieces to further embellish some of these uh, stores. Now, I, I know saying the word embellish sounds almost counterintuitive. I just mean I'm adding more texture and variety to it. The same thing I'm doing with the uh, corrugated pieces over here, I'm bringing the pieces in to add just a little bit of... Uh, of a, of a different texture and a different uh, feel. Uh, but yeah, here you can see I decided to extend the roofing on this one store because it felt like the right thing to do. Again, I don't want everything to feel generic and samesies over here, so to speak. Uh, and also, you know, actually extending the uh, flooring over here so that it feels like it's all one, uh, one, one material. Um, but even then, when I'm just extending the flooring, you'll see I try to go in there and add a little bit of nuance wherever possible, because it's those little details, I think, that go a long way with this kind of a thing. Um, so like right now as well, I don't, this is a completely unnecessary addition, if I'm honest. And if I wasn't, if the zoo didn't have this much money, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um, but I just thought, you know, we need some more um, horizontal lines when looking down from a three quarter angle. Um, and so here we are. But yeah, pretty happy with how that unit looks. You know, the, the different roof color looks nice. The logs look nice. It goes well with the uh, floor. I like the, uh, the unpainted East Asia panels that we're using as well, uh, that create sort of the floorboard as well as like a lining along the, uh, uh, the roof. So I'm really happy with how those pieces work together. Uh, and you can see every once in a while. Oh yeah, here we go. Every once in a while I go in and I adjust the, uh, the terrain for which I need to undo the water first. And over there you maybe saw for a second, I was having some trouble getting the terrain and the water to work. So I had to undo my changes and more on that later on, but uh, I certainly got a mini heart attack because it wasn't allowing me to add the water back uh, at the same level for some reason, but more than a bit. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, it's all about the little details, little nuance. So I was like, all right, you know, what if we just put down a different color of board? And uh, what if we don't fix the rotation of these pieces so that they're all perfectly perpendicular to each other? What if it is a little, you know, messy? Because again, that's what we're going for. I'm really happy with how uh, some of these pieces have come together. Like even here, you can see uh, intentionally rotating, intentionally adding an odd number here and there. Uh, changing their heights a little bit so it feels like someone just kind of quickly was like, I don't like how this looks, so I'm going to, I've got some wood out back, I'm going to throw it down, just going to hammer it in place. Uh, and yes, yeah, the wrong color wood, but whatever, no one cares. Uh, that's kind of the, the idea there. Uh, but yeah, extending this walkway over here as well, trying to figure out how to make the transition is, uh, is an issue. Uh, that's something I, I attempt to do, and I don't know how ha happy I am with my attempt, but... Uh, uh, I deal with that later. For now, though, I go ahead and build the uh, the frame, I suppose, for all the other stores. Uh, and you know what? I realize now I did get a lot of name suggestions, and I actually wrote them down as well. But I don't get along uh, get around to putting those name suggestions in and implementing them today. So if you have any new ideas or more ideas for what all these stores should be called, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Again, uh, you know, puns and stuff are especially always welcome, but they don't have to be puns. Uh, they just I'll be completely honest, it's it's very easy to win my heart with puns, so <laughs> it's a good way to, to make sure your name might get picked. But uh, yeah, again, just kind of replicating the same uh, aesthetic, but trying to find ways that we can make these stores a little different. You can see I play around with color there, but immediately hate it. Uh, but then when I do go back to the red, I decide to go back to a different shade of red. So it is a little different. It's like, you know, this guy bought his paint from a different paint supplier you know, in, the, in the village upstream or something. I don't know. It made sense at the time, and I think it still makes sense even now when looking back at it in hindsight. Uh, but here you can see again using those uh, East Asia plank pieces to create some uh, you know, si uh, floorboards and things, and then using these corrugated pieces and, and changing their color uh, to add just a little bit more vibrance to the uh, 
to the stores. And I think those corrugated pieces actually go a long way in tying everything together over here. Uh, the toilet blocks need a little bit of work as well. I do believe I leave it at this at this point because I, at this point I was just kind of like, I'll do the toilet blocks later. Let's go ahead and see how we can get, uh, you know, some, some benches down, if we can get some umbrellas down. Uh, but you can see like once we added the corrugated elements, it just, I don't know, I, I feel like it, it, it really adds that pop of color uh, that makes it feel like what I was going for. Um, but y'all y'all need to let me know what you think about the uh, about the area. Like, have I got that look going? I still think there is work to be done, but this is definitely one of those projects that just never ends because trying to make things look haphazard uh, is a lot harder, in my opinion, than making things look clean. Because you know when something's clean, but trying to fake haphazardness is, well, it's not easy. Uh, but I try to continue that same aesthetic up over here, as you can see, uh, using these extra plank pieces, trying to create that depth as well, different layers as if there are layers upon layers of wood over there. Um, and then I think this is the last thing I do this time lapse is I get some more of these rocks set up so that we can get our water, uh, our waterfall going. But of course, the waterfall itself, I have to do when we're playing in real time because effects don't work in in uh, in pause. And I do not want to time lapse a bunch of gameplay. God knows what we'll all miss. But uh, yeah, really happy with how this is all coming together. You can see me doing a quick check right now of like, okay, are, is everything sealed off? How am I keeping the croc in place? So I realize that there's this giant gaping hole over here that I need to do something with. Now, my one concern, and uh, we're, we're going to find out if this uh, is going to work out or not. But my one big concern is uh, what happens uh, when I want to block the croc but allow the boat to go through. So you can see that's the kind of solution I built over there, but will the croc just kind of swim over it? Probably. Will I have to pretend that the boat's just barely able to make it through? I mean, I could... There's a couple ways that we could make it work. I might also need to actually fence the, uh, the crocs in a little bit so they don't go adventuring too far and so that they don't attack the boat as it goes through. I don't know if the boat ride is safe without it being fenced off separately, but time will tell. Uh, it turns out the waterfall facade was not the last thing I did this time lapse at all. I decided to go in with this keeper hut and give this the right aesthetic as well. Uh, because, you know, why not get it all done all at once, all at the same time. I've got the momentum right now. Um, feeling the burnout a little bit, but uh, might as well just cap all this off. And again, using the different kinds of wood and the different textures and different colors to create that, you know, kind of messy, uh, messy look. Uh, and then actually I, I dropped the corrugated pieces as well. Pink for the... Uh, or purple, I guess, for the uh, staff room and green for the keeper hut because that's their colors. Yeah, overall pretty happy with how things are looking. Um, just some finishing touches over here for today's time lapse. But as always, folks, let me know what you think about what you saw today, how we can improve it or change it. Uh, as always, I look forward to reading your feedback in the comments down below. So keep it coming. All right, I think that's about enough of a time lapse for now, at least. Uh, I don't know if we'll do another one in this session because now we gotta uh, try and get the animals in here, check to make sure that they don't actually that they're not able to escape. But uh, we also need to make sure that we get our waterfalls and stuff going. And of course, for visual effects, we have to hit play. So uh, just going to very quickly check to make sure that I haven't missed out on anything over here. Vet research is complete. Who is that for? That's for the yellow anaconda. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and actually get the anaconda something special just to try and cheer these things up i mean I, I again i have so many animals that um you know these guys aren't that poorly off uh but i guess yeah a little bit a little bit of a little bit of layout boosting will go a long way for these guys uh sure let's go with that one i like how that looks uh, i've been asked by the way about why i don't just put everything in um well putting everything in doesn't actually help the animals any more than putting only some things in uh, so I just put in what I think looks nice. Like, you know what, actually, let's go go ahead with both of these. I like the little touch of red there. So th that's kind of my decision-making process as far as, um, as far as, uh, that's concerned. Uh, anyway, so we've got quite a few things going on right now. I need to add a lot of vegetation here and stuff as well, but as, uh, as I often do, um, I want to first, uh, get, get the, uh, the animals in here. And let me just check one thing really quickly that I'm a little worried about, actually. Um... So I noticed about partway through, yeah, my water, something has broken my water, it seems. So I can still put it down over here, but that is not the same water level. Hmm. The reason why that's a problem, the reason why that concerns me, is because I don't know... Hmm. don't know what's causing that issue. And I'm not sure 
the, the thing is I want to expand my river and stuff, and I want to be able to do it with one click. I'm not sure what's preventing that one click from working now. I could try and figure that out right now. Um, this is all, this is obstructed. So, like, I need, I need to be at this height, and I'm not sure. Oh, uh, interesting, okay, so... Yeah, see, it only goes up to that height, and I'm not, I'm not sure what's causing that issue. I think it happened when we made some adjustments over here, but that doesn't seem to... Hmm, actually, you know what, that does seem to be the case. Maybe it's because of the path over here? Try it out. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Um, I just wanna try it out real quick before... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So if, if you have an idea as to what might be causing that, let me know, please, because, uh... Oh, man. We, we, we can work around it, obviously. We can create two separate, um... Water sections, I suppose. I just would rather not have to. Really rather not have to. Like, we didn't adjust the terrain too much. We adjusted it a bit over here. But I can't imagine this will make a, a difference to the water. Like, if I... It's, it's scary, too, because you don't want to... I don't want to lose anything. Um, but let's try a quick, you know, flatten to foundation over here and see if that does the trick. See if that does the trick. And, and if this doesn't do the trick, then I'll just uh, I'll move on. Yeah, no, see, I go back down to this level. Oh, man, not sure what did it. Not sure what did it. Well, nonetheless, I'll, I'll deal with that some other time. We'll, we'll have to find... Some solution or another. Oh, you know what it could be? It could be... Our... Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Was it because of the... Oh. If only life were the... Oh, maybe it was. You know what? I think it was. Alright, that is not a problem. So all we have to do is... When the time comes... We just have to shift this up, put the water in, and then put this thing back down. Cool. Because uh, y'all pointed out quite wisely, quite correctly, so that the uh, the boat was actually floating above water, and so what's the point of that? Anyway, let's go ahead and hit play. I'm glad I managed to solve that before we got too far with this session, uh, or before we got too far in general. That would have, that could have, you know, potentially ruined things for us, but uh, I'm glad we figured that out. Let's go ahead and hit play. We're going to do some VFX stuff, and then we're going to try and get our animals in. I'd like to get our animals in today. That's kind of my big motivator, and then we might even be able to get some vegetation stuff done, because I think once the vegetation has come into this area, and we make it look all, like, nice and marshy, uh, it'll look great. I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for the game to unpause over here. I think it's recalculating all the path adjustments and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, so once we get some more vegetation here, I think it'll look great. Once we get some, um, VFX and, and all in here as well, I think that'll be, I think that'll be really helpful. But, uh, we we'll see. And as always, I mean, you guys let me know what you think about uh, the changes we've made today and, and, and the advances we've done. Um, I'm pretty happy with with how things have, uh, have come together. What I'm not happy about is how long it's taken this game to resume playing. But I guess we did a lot of, uh, of work during that, that uh, time lapse. That was a two-hour time lapse. That was, more, that was an over two-hour session. Uh, and I only mention that because it, it might be of interest to y'all to know like, how long some of these things actually take to execute. Um, so that was about two hours, and there's still some work to do back in the India section. You will have noticed I put down some, you know, toilet blocks and stuff like that, um, that I, I want to go in and, and do some work on, but I didn't want to get bogged down by all that. I was already getting bogged down by all that. I didn't want to get too bogged down by all that. Come on, game. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't break my heart. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous right now. I was actually planning on doing quite a bit of management stuff this session, but uh, I don't know if we'll have the time for that. I actually don't know if we'll have the time for that. Oh, there we go. Can't find accessible staff room. now. Okay, that was a temporary issue. It is gone now. Facility inaccessible back over here. How, how so? It's got a connection. This is also inaccessible. Hmm. How so? And these are all without power. Is that why they're unaccessible? Okay, let's, uh, let's first go ahead and put down our uh, solar panel over here. That was weird. Okay, you're back in there. No power. Maybe it's because of no power. Let's, let's find out. Let's go ahead and put our solar panel in uh, where? Um, always 
should have should have thought this through. Should have should have got the solar panel in first. I guess I could put it by the washrooms, or I could put it like right over here. Yeah, that'll cover everything over here, including the. Yep, including the um, habitat. So let's go ahead and pop you down right over here. Done. And hopefully, yes, looks like that has fixed the inaccessibility issue. Cool. More vet research complete. Who for? The Bengal tiger. Cool. We'll get them something to, you know, play with or something soon. Uh, everything else. This is incomplete track. That's okay. Let's go ahead and say hello to you. We need as many conservation credits as we can get whenever we can get them. All right. I wish I could play at half speed or I wish the VFX would still work while we were, uh, you know, paused. But unfortunately, it does not. Uh, it does not. Now, let's see. We've got a couple of things to do. First of all, it was suggested that rather than doing the smoke in here, which I do like, it was suggested that we try the mist instead. Oh, yeah, okay, the mist works a little bit better. Mm, I mean, I think they both work in their own ways. Go ahead and get the mist uh, back there. Get one back over here as well. Cool. I love watching them swim and stuff. They're just so cute. They're just so perfect. There's a huge mist option. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Might do, uh... M might use it once we get the vegetation and stuff in, but let's go ahead and get our water, um, rapid splash. I want the rapids to be over here, so as you go through, you know, you feel like there's kind of something going on. Uh, is that the largest one? Go the splash, yeah. The foam is weird. The foam, why is it, like, floating upwards? I want you to go that way. That way. And I know there's an inspector here. Hopefully, everything's okay. I feel like we've done a decent job for most of our animals. I mean, we can do a quick check. William, how are you feeling? William's feeling great. Okay. Uh, Mercedes. What a name. <laughs> Where is Mercedes? Mercedes? Oh, is that Mercedes? It is. Mercedes, feeling great. Okay, good stuff. Um, Willoughby, a little pupper, I think. It's been a while since we've looked at our uh, wolves. Has been a while. Enrichment is kind of low. Toy enrichment is low. Alright, okay. We can go ahead and fix that. Uh, for our timber wolves, we want to get some toys. Uh, they don't have a blood scent marker or anything, do they? Yeah, I should get rid of some of their older enrichment items. Down over here. And let's get another one down over on this side. Yeah, let's get you down over here. Oh, let's get you down over here. People should have a decent view. All right, enrichment's better now. Could be a little bit higher, though. Um, what else do we have here? We do not have any sprinklers, so we could drop a sprinkler down, let's say, over here. 83%, that's pretty good. Pretty good, I could get rid of ice ball. Willoughby, where are you? There you are. 83%. Yeah, the, removing the ice ball made, like, no difference. Let's get the chew toy back up over here as well, because I thought the chew toy was just absolutely adorable. That made, like, no difference, did it? Interesting. Oh, I, I guess the food enrichment is the other thing. Yeah, food enrichment. Let's go ahead and get rid of the chew toy, then. Let's not waste it. And we get the piñata down. Oh, let's get the piñata in here. That's kind of cute, I think. There we go. So now they're perfect. Uh, Wolf Frog, so Moria Plaza. Sai, how are you doing? How are you? Nope, not you. How are you doing? Pretty happy across the board. Habitat, what's bad about the habitat? Plants. Yeah, I think we've got too much vegetation going on right now. It's because these things, I think, are hanging in. Like, hanging over and in. And so I think that's... Actually causing a little bit of stress for our poor animals here. Uh, where are we? Guys down there. Okay. Been in box for too long. That's not good. Uh, 41%. Alright, let's see which... Tr yeah, see, those are just way too close. It's just way too close. And that's kind of unfortunate. It's like, I understand it's hanging over a little bit, but... Shouldn't... Shouldn't... Averse, adversely affect them that much. Okay, that's adorable. Seeing them run is extremely cute. 
Alright, we're so far, we're so, so far so good, but... I don't want to lose it because of plants, of all things. Um, ooh, adult population's kind of low, too. Gotta keep an eye on that. Alright, so that helped our coverage a little bit. Um, I wonder if we don't, like, just get rid of some of, whoops, some of these. I don't know why I'm insistent on clicking on Psy. It's just like, I don't trust any of the other animals. Give me an honest opinion. Oh man, I don't know, yeah. Maybe I've overdone it with the trees. This is 17%. This is 3%. I've got three of them. Okay, if I go ahead and move you over to this side. Right, let's see if that does the trick. Still not good enough. Wow. All right. Well, we'll have to figure this out some other time. I can't get uh, bogged down by this for the rest of all eternity. Let's unbox all of you, please. Hopefully that's not going to hurt us too bad. And what's going on over here at Watkins? Oh, actually, one thing that was suggested. Mm, you're thirsty. And your toy enrichment's kind of low. I, I'm pretty sure Watkins is able to cross without any issue. Oh, he's not. Wow, so it was actually suggested that we haven't seen um, a baby bison in a long time because we didn't, um, because the, the bridges aren't wide enough. And I was like, ah, I'm pretty sure that we're able to cross over here. Uh, but I must have made our um, made our expansion to the river um, when Watkins was on the side. And so now... Well... So now he um he's stuck. There we go. That 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 that'll help. That'll do the trick. Now he's able to use the water. Oh my god. Drink the water. Don't be thirsty. Don't uh, don't hurt our mark. Okay, good. Even though he was thirsty, uh wasn't that bad. And over here at Grizzly Grove, William. Oh, what a cutie. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me, William. I need to know how you're doing. God, stop. William. <laughs> William. <laughs> stop it. Wow. Okay. I know I could have paused, but it was infinitely more fun to do it that way. All right, and William's in a pretty good mood as well, so that is hopefully going to be a five-star uh, review. We'll see. We'll see. And my oh my, does that... I mean, Moria Plaza in the darkness does look quite nice. I'm I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And let me check something real quick, actually. Let me check a couple things real quick since it's nightfall. Let's do some menu stuff real quick, and then we'll go back to working on, um, on, our, uh, on our enclosure. Um, so... Prices, I think we're fine. We have some repairs to do. Glad I noticed that. I just had a gut feeling. I was like, I don't know. I feel like there's an issue. Wow, we actually still see a lot of refunds, but um, but uh, we're still seeing profits on top of that. So that's that's good. That's good. I wanted to see though what people are saying. Education is low. Well, no, that's not what they're saying. Happiness is low. I mean, I've added an information kiosk and stuff as well, so people will hopefully be able to, um... Pressing L to turn the light on. I've added an info kiosk, I've added, um... You know, of eating and drinking and stuff over here by the trees. Oh wow, look, and look how immediately busy it got. I'm hoping that people will be able to buy, uh, you know, umbrellas and stuff over here. So that won't be a- uh, that won't hurt us, hopefully. They're able to get up over here. I might actually lower the uh, the treehouse. It, it's I think it's giving us poor views, and I've seen a couple of you suggest that. But again, this is not a tiger episode. So I'll, I'll do that some other time if it continues to be an issue. Again, you can't make everybody happy always, right? So okay, it looks like they're lining up for their um, umbrellas and stuff. So this should be working out. Let me very quickly over here take a look at our staff and do a couple more upgrades, especially for our vendors. Go ahead and give you guys some upgrades. There we go. Gotta stay on top of this. And I, I, I mean, I might want to actually change some of their, like, perks and stuff as well. Um, it's like they're feeling more energized and things like that. There's a couple different options that I, I, I could look into. I'll look into them later. Right now, we're doing so much training still. All right, looking pretty good in terms of our rating, so that's excellent. Still roaming around. All right, fair enough. Um, what are we looking at? We're fine over here. Fine over here. More for the yellow anaconda. Let's go ahead and cheer them up a little bit. Actually surprised the inspector didn't want to take a look at our, um, 
Oh, we need another step. I uh, didn't want to take a look at our uh, tigers considering they're new. And actually, hearing the train reminds me, I wanted to see... I'm seeing some small lineups. I uh, also fight due to overcrowding. I don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and pick our... Zuma. What's your... Um... Well, wow, literally watched him become an adult. Decent. 8350, 8366. Hmm. I guess we could get rid of uh, Cho Chitl. Cho Chitl? I'm not, I can't. My Nahuatl is only so good, by which I mean it's not. Uh, I could release you into the wild. Do that. We need to get a new, uh, new female. Because obviously this would be inbreeding at this point. Let's go ahead and release you into the wild as well, I think. A couple of conservation credits, sure. And let's purchase, hopefully with our money, a new tapir. There we go. A new... Oh, come on. Give me... Give me a female... Come on. Come on, game. Oh, God. All right, well, I need to remember to... um. I, I need to remember to get a female uh, Barrett's tapir. Otherwise, we're, we're going to stop seeing babies. Well, at least Zuma's very happy all on his own for now. All right, this rain is uh, pretty bad. Rain is pretty bad. And this night lasts for quite a while. I didn't realize how long we're open till into the night. Well, in that case, let's keep on doing some of the uh, other management stuff that y'all point out in the comments while we're waiting for, uh, for, the, for daybreak. I think it's a good way to control our uh, uh, tasks. Use the time. So let's check. Over here... These guys are pretty happy. Toy enrichment is, is not pretty... It's pretty poor. Uh, toy enrichment for these guys is pretty poor as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, the rubbing pillar has become boring. Okay. And the skittle ball? I'm sorry, what? Is that this thing? Yes. I can get rid of you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get... I see the sun has risen exactly... Like, right when I start doing this. Uh, but that's okay. Just, uh, it'll be a second. Want to get something for the bison? Large barrel feeder? No. We need toys. Grab balls we got rid of, so let's go ahead and put one down at least, and we can get a mud bath down again. We got rid of the mud bath as well. Hopefully that'll do the trick, at least a little bit. Yep, your enrichment is maxed out, and what about y'all? Your enrichment is maxed out as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what else is beautiful is this rating. Look at that! Five stars across the board. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful. Makes me very happy. Now, as the sun rises, let's get back to work over here. Let's go ahead and build our... Take a look at this report, shall we? Looks like everything is five stars. I hate that I can't click on... Okay. Go to zoo. Go to zoo overview. And then click on view report. Are you serious? Four stars? How did I get four... How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Four stars. But I got five stars cleanliness, five stars education, five stars for all of my animals. She has a grudge against me. I think it was a woman. I'm trying to remember what I saw in when we went to the guest view camera. They have a grudge against me. That's... God. <laughs> Unfortunate, but it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and get our waterfalls looking good over here. Um, let's see. I want it to be... I want it to be a pretty active and large waterfall. I want it to be pretty neat when you, when you kind of like go by it, you know? Um... Spread you over to there. Pull you over a bit. Go. I wish... There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. I think. I think? Hard to tell. Uh, let's get the rest of the waterfall done. So we got the midsection. I want the 10 meter one. Alright, let's get... Uh, Couple of you over here and over here. There we go. Over here. Over here. There we go. There we go. This is good. That's looking like a real waterfall. So again, the idea is that the water is coming from over here down, down this way. So what we might want to do is we might want to get... Um, we might want to get some of the uh, fountains as well and use them as we've used them in the past. 
try and create a fake uh, waterfall kind of a thing going on. Sort of like that. A little bit lower, maybe. Come on. Almost got this. There we go. Beautiful. Ish. Beautiful ish. I wish it was a bit more responsive. I can't really... Oops. See what we're doing here. Yeah, it's not... Why are you not rotating? Okay, there we go. That should do the trick. This is going to be difficult, isn't it? And I, I wish I could do this um, when I was paused. That is unfortunately not an option. And there we go. Get you up over there. Another one over there. Go. Can I? Yeah, we can do that. Get some down over here as well. I'm mm, not sure exactly how I want to approach this to make make it entertaining to watch as well. I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to assume it's fun watching me place down a bunch of, you know, fountains. Basically. All right. Let's go ahead and drop you down over here. All right, you know what? I mean, that's looking pretty good already. Looking pretty good already. Come on now. Come on now. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, let's get you... Like so. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Just want to get into this little crack area. There we go. There we go. Okay, and let's see if we can't get any more of these midsections. The midsections work quite quite nicely, especially these uh, the larger ones. They work quite well. We can do that. We can do this. Color is a little different of the water, but it's not the end of the world. Sure, we can do something like that. That. And what about the top? I need waterfall top. There we go. Oh, it feels so good just to not have to worry about money anymore. Like, as much, I should I should say. What's that? I want to add a bunch more waterfall elements? I can. What's that? They're 100 bucks a piece? No worries. No big deal. Alright, okay. It's coming along. Where's my waterfall top again? Well, let's add you up there. We got one over here. One over here. There we go. Get the rapid splashing over here as well. That way it feels like the water is actually flowing a little bit. Alright, alright, there we go. Well, nah, that's kind of messy looking. Okay, we can do that. Do that, that kind of a thing. Yeah, it kind of works. It's getting there, it's getting there don't like how different the fountain um, color is. It, it is bothering me a little bit, not gonna lie. It is bothering me a little bit. Oh, we can add more U. Make this bottom area a lot more vibrant. Or a lot more active, rather, I meant to say. I guess we can do that. What about up over here? What if I added... Oh, yeah, you know what? That looks good. That looks like there is uh, you know, just a thin sheet of water over here that's getting disturbed by the uh, the incoming waterfalls. There we go. Game was just freaking out there for a second, like, why are you adding so many visual effects? Because I have a vision game, I have a vision, and I want to execute it. Right, let's try the smaller one. There we go. Alright, alright, you know, it's feeling pretty good. It's feeling pretty good. And of course, folks, this is all running on like an ecosystem, so it's uh, completely recycled water. We don't have to worry about uh, wasting water. Obviously. We'd be very cognizant of that. Down over here. Down over here. That feels pretty cool. That feels pretty cool. Oh man, I feel yeah. You know what? I'm 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 liking how this is looking overall. I might go in and nuance it a bit more, but again, I don't want to you know, spend all my time on just that. Uh, it's too bad that it's raining, uh, but I will get our animals in here. 
Uh, now money seems to... Well, okay, no, money's going up again. We have taken a hit to our wealth. Last year, we were at a deficit. Okay, let's uh, keep our eyes open over here, because we have got the tigers now, and again, the, the tigers are expensive to feed and whatnot. Carnivores, right? Carnivores are expensive to feed. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and make the anaconda a little bit happier. I need to make sure I'm getting as many... Um... Oh, I should maybe turn the train back off. You know what? Maybe that's what's costing me. I, I meant to check that earlier, and I did not. You're happier now. So let me just check here real quick. Yeah, it cost me almost two grand last time around. We're not seeing extremely long lineups or anything. I guess people don't mind walking from there to there. You'd think they would, but... I don't know, that's a, that's a bit of a problem. And how, how are we doing in terms of the donations over here? Not very well. Uh, okay, let's see. This is the downside of creating a, um... A complicated... Uh... Enclosure. How many people are able to see them from up over here? 160... 300, okay, so, so you're making money. You're making money. Are people coming in here to buy things at all? No, we have no vendors in here right now. We have some vendors. 200 bucks, 56 bucks, 200 bucks. Hmm. How about you over here? 12 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I've overdone it. Once we get cubs, we might be okay. Listen, I need you to make babies. I need y'all to, to get to work. She's getting old, too. We bought her when she was four, and she's 6.2 now. Uh, maybe, maybe I took a foolish gamble with my elderly gentleman tiger. Uh, all right, we went from one twenty-five to one thirty-one, so money's looking good again. That's good. It's June. We're six k. We'll be at twelve k earnings. Hopefully, with the gharial and the croc added, we'll be a little bit better off. So let's go ahead and start with the gharial. So, oh, actually, hold on. Ah. Uh. Man, I don't want to spend conservation credits for these. These genes are terrible. 250. Pretty much on the older side as well. We'll we'll wait a little bit longer. We'll wait a little bit longer. Okay. Let's go ahead and find ourselves our animal. Magario filter. Let me just check real quick. Okay, there's only a female available. Uh, they are, what, 1 to 7. Okay. Confident relation with humans. What does that mean, confident? All right, let's uh, try and get a pair. Right? Let's try and get a breeding pair. I know right now only a female is available. Actually, oh yeah, no, that's all that's available. Pretty low stats as well. Are you serious right now? You gonna do me like this game? Oh, only a female is available because I have the filter on. That obviously doesn't help. These are pretty poor genes. I'm not gonna lie. But, can't do anything but try, so let's go ahead and adopt Buddy over here. 87 is not that much. Immunity is really low, so let's go ahead. Ooh, the tortoises have finally come to, come of age. Uh, let's go ahead and put you into quarantine first. And it is time to remove some of the tortoises. Finally, my lord. Waiting a while for this. Oh my god, so many animals. So many. What's going on with the Brazilian wandering spiders? Why? Okay, cool. We're... We have a breeding pair there. We've got a dad. One of these is the mom, right? Yeah, Violetta is the mom. I need to rename her. Uh, over here we have some... There we go. Louise, Sylvia, Aniel, and Evita are the grown-ups. Okay. Alright. And you know what's gonna happen? I can't move them into the, um... Trade Center at the same time, because I've got a mixed batch selected over here. Go ahead and do this. Send to Trade Center. We'll check about releasing into the wild in a second. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with our... Sorry. With our overpopulating animals over here. Go ahead and get all of you. Animal died. Man. Charlotte passed away. Okay. 
Fine, the circle of life, right? Life must go on. I believe we already have a female in there. So we should be fine. Should be fine. Get some of y'all out. There we go. Get you guys out of there as well. Get you out of there. How are we doing in here? Getting pretty busy. Alright. Get you. Get you as well. Is this over 30? I've got 24 selected. Okay. I was worried I was going to get punished again. Go ahead and get some of you out of here as well. Not all of them. Just some of them. There we go. That's 32. Fine. So you get to stay. The trade center with you. Excellent. Uh, let's call a vet over here. Now, do we have... I gotta make sure that we actually have a... Repair. Quarantine pass. Good, good, good. Um... Oh my god, infertile. Expecting offspring already. Expecting offspring. Alright, we're getting work done over here. So Watkins has got plenty of, of of bison to make babies with, so we're good. What's the deal over here? Animal died, quarantine passed, animal's hungry, okay. Quarantine passed, let's go ahead and move you down to... This is an invalid destination, because we don't have a habitat entry, of course. Gonna, gonna need one of those. Gonna need one of those. Habitat gate. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna do this to me. I hate when the game does this. It's like it just doesn't want to create a connection. There's no real reason for it not to. Okay, let's uh, I'm pop you over here. Let's see what it does. If I try to go to the path menu. Obstructed. Um, okay, that's fine. Then all I gotta do is just edit this a little bit. Move all of you back a little bit. That should hopefully do the trick. Still obstructed, eh? Wow. Crazy. Okay, okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Just some minor edits needed. By the way, let me know in the comments if uh, if the game gets too dark, because then I'll uh, I'll adjust my like nighttime play and stuff accordingly. I've got the uh, the light on, like the in-game light is activated, so this is as bright as I can make it. Uh, so I'd like to know if uh, you know if it's bright enough or if it's too dark, if I should reduce my uh, zoo hours and things like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull you all over. This way, I should have put the uh, the gate down first. I, I'm pretty sure this is still enough space, but uh, I should have checked first. All right, we good. Let's go ahead and get you all the way to the edge. And yeah, I wanted to get the India theme for the Gharial as well, and then it transitions into the Southeast Asia theme. Okay, are you? I didn't want to follow this curve or anything, so this is fine for now. We might embellish this entrance a little bit uh, later on. You're kidding me, right? Brain modification failed. So many, like, little things that this game just... <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just... Just work, game. Just attach. <sighs> okay. Very modification failed. Is it gonna... Okay, it's gonna work over here. Fair enough. There's our solution. There's our solution. Move you over to there. Fine. <laughs> Works. It, I, I'll take it. I'll accept it. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for with, the, uh, with this space, but... See, my worry is that our guests can't come close enough. Can I? Yes, I can. Sure. Go ahead and do that. Wow. Can I undo everything here? Okay. 
mind of its own sometimes. All right, move you over to here. Are you able to connect? You're not. Okay. So it needs to be pulled back a little bit, but not all the way. Again, hey, I guess it, you know, turned to darkness at the right time. There's literally nothing to see here. It is just a gate. Okay. I'll flatten the foundation, sorry. Do that. Okay. Still kind of the same issue. Go ahead and see if we can't adjust that a bit again. Pull all of you and just nudge you ever so slightly. Yes, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Strong word, but I'll use it. In fact, we were able to get further than initially, so... You know what? I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and bring you all up. Oops, missed a block there. There we go. Bring all of you up over to here. Done. And let's go ahead and bring... That is a little bit messier. Do... Um, you know what, how about this? How about we be a bit reasonable with ourselves and do that? There. Ah. <laughs> oh, it looks, it, it, look, it looks hideous, I, and I can't allow that. Can't allow that. I mean, the other option is, of course, we can put down, like, pillars and stuff over here instead. Rather than the fencing. The fencing would hang out like that. I have to do something like this. Well, for now, you know what? For now, it's fine. We'll 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 fine tune. We have got a lot of fine tuning to do anyway, so we'll we'll fine tune this stuff uh, when the time comes. So let's go ahead and get our Gario in here, and hopefully this will be enough space and everything. Uh, and let's go ahead and check. Happiness is dropping again. I have to check what the deal is there. Go ahead and check. Summer is a male, so we can get Anya. No, Anya is not very good. We'll, uh, we'll hold off. Conservation credits is unfortunate that we've taken a hit there. Happiness. Now, why is happiness dropping? Is there a piece of litter somewhere? Typically over here. No, no litter over there. Nothing over there, nothing over there. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Okay. Back over here, is there litter? There is. Monsters, why are you even coming here right now? Alright, alright. Uh, yeah, it was just... Momentary unhappiness from all the litter. Okay, so let's, uh, before I forget, I suppose, let's go ahead and put down some more bins. Okay. Oh, I might put some down over here, yeah. Can't believe I need bins along this walkway. Where are you even getting stuff to throw? We cannot reach habitat, okay, fair enough. I'll fix that, give me a second. Go ahead into our work zones. Yeah, I got... Okay, hold on. I gotta do this as well. There we go. Money made. Um, I need two. Work zones. I need to make a new work zone. This really shouldn't be... Um, this really shouldn't be a part of India entrance. Or, or this should... Mm, I don't know. I need a new work zone though for sure. All right, so now we should be able to get in here. Animals are hungry. Someone's got to feed them. What's going on over here? Vet research is complete. Okay, more stuff for all of you. Uh, let's get you researching the Gario. There we go. Perfect timing, actually, to complete an animal. We've accomplished the info center profits. Excellent. I think, yeah, I, I needed more info centers where people were not able to get umbrellas. All right, look, money's looking good again. So that's good. So that's good. For those of you that wanted to see my summaries at the end of a session, I'm not saying the session's over already, but some of y'all said you want to see what our numbers look like over the course of a session. This is for you. Our money's money's looking okay. At least it's on the up and up. All right, so we got our Gariel delivered. Wow, they are big, big creatures. They are big. Okay, so, couple things we need to do for you. We need to go ahead and get you a feeding tray. 
Um, well, let's go ahead and get you some bedding as well. No, that's not what I meant, game. Nice try, though. Go and get you some comfy bedding over here. So this is their hard shelter. They can also go over here and get some hard shelter. I don't know if they will. Um, but the option is there. I don't know if they can fit now that I've seen the size of them. Oh, my God. Um, but, uh, okay, so that's that. I need to get you, what else? I need to get you some, a feeding area. Uh, and we need to heat this space up as well. So food for a, what's this thing called? Curio. Okay. Work with me here. Curio. Food tray large. I want you to be eating out over here. Yeah, out over here. Over here. There we go. Should be able to get, uh, like mud baths, eh? Interesting. Interesting. Hardcover is good enough. Terrain is actually spot on, it seems. We're gonna add some more plants, though. They don't mind having more, so we will add more. Um, frozen blood pumpkin. Okay. Uh, where are we? Zoopedia. What do y'all like? What do we know that you like? Rubbing pad, mud bath, prey scented sack. Frozen blood pumpkin is their one and only food enrichment. Okay, so... Go ahead and get this uh, out over here, perhaps. Yeah, let's get this out over here. I'll obstruct. There we go. Um, I need to get donation bins out as well. A rubbing pad. Mm, we can put the rubbing pad. This is like where all the viewing is going to happen. Um, I could put a rubbing pad. I don't know if they'd be able to use it down here, if I'm honest. That's more for when they're swimming around. I could build a little island over here. Okay, well, let's see. Let's, uh, let's see. My good friend, are you able to... Oh, they can't even get into the water. Strange. Not what I would have expected. I would have expected them to be able to go down, uh, through this way, but... Damn, that's... Really kind of sad. Okay. Didn't work out. We'll we'll smooth it out and, and, and fix that. That's not a problem. Uh, water, though. Water you should be able to drink from here, I imagine. Heating. We do need some heat. For sure we need some heat. Critically endangered. So this will be good for us. 14 to 42. So we can go with a nice, like, balmy 30, I think. Uh, habitat. Where are we? Heat, heat, heat. Put one down over here. Pump you up to 30. Right? we got to get... Uh, I have to get a few of these, actually. And it'll help warm up the, the path as well, so that's good. Pop you over there, and pop you over here. I don't know if we've got full coverage. We might need one over here. Alright. Uh, so that's that taken care of. We've got food, we've got water. Uh, toy enrichment, I think we still need, right? Blood pumpkin. Yeah, toy enrichment we still need. Alright. Uh, where are we? Small ball. All oh, right, it was the rubbing pad that I wanted to install somewhere. Okay, we'll see if we can get it over here. We'll see if we can get it over here. I have my doubts, though. I don't think it'll be able to climb that. Hmm. I'll just put the rubbing pad over here for now, then. This is where all the donations are going to come. This is where all the action is going to happen. Um, okay, now this looks obviously hideous. Not what I had in mind. Pop you in a little bit. There we go. Pop you in a little bit as well. There we go. It's just hanging out over here. Alright, there we go. Okay, that should do the trick. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play. We'll check the uh, habitat movement. No, wait, hold on. First of all, sorry. First things first, we gotta get... Uh, donation bins. Go ahead and get one over here, get one over here. Go ahead and get some over here as well. God, I need someone to clean this mess up. I need someone to clean this mess up urgently. Commuting, resting. Wandering. You're not commuting, you're wandering. Nice try. Nice try. Go over here, clean this mess up. Come on, get to work. All right, and then we need to get some education boards. Now, I want to create some interesting education board experiences, actually, for these guys. 
Um, but I think that's... I can wait a little bit. Sorry, I meant to take this. Let me flip you down this way. And get another one down over here. Down like so. We gotta get our speakers in as well, of course. And another one over here. All right. So. Cario and you as well, of course. Same thing. Range can be a little bit bigger for you as well as for you. And really got to try and draw those uh, donations in. Why is that red? Oh, no power. Okay. I'm going to have to fix that. Which will hopefully not be a problem. What I can do is get a solar panel added over here. Oh, it's like just barely out of... Uh, Power range. Ah, oh, that's always so frustrating. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Maybe we just get rid of it. No, that seems like a popular... That, that seems like it'll be a popular spot. Fine, let's go ahead and get... Um, let's get you set up where... right here underneath all the trees. Gotta be a good spot here somewhere, right? Come on now. No. Even when the game just doesn't want to adapt like curved paths. Does it pretty often as well. Come on now. I will, I will take literally any solution. I will take any solution game. We had something here moments ago. Literally seconds ago. Alright. Okay. I mean, if that's what it's going to be... If that's what it has to be, then that's what it has to be, and I will accept it. I will hate it, but I will accept it. Hopefully it is operational. It is indeed. Good stuff. Let's make sure we add it to our work zone as well. Yeah, see, like, the India work zone is just... The India entrance work zone is just becoming super busy. That's gonna be... That has to be Southeast Asia. That cannot be the same work zone at all. Like, that that's ridiculous. Alright, so we got power over here now. Right. Power donation bins all done. Let's go ahead and get, um... These guys duplicated over a little bit. you over like so there we go I think we got power over here and I guess I could duplicate another one over here watch we don't have power over here oh nice we do cool hopefully that does the trick and then on this side again we're gonna have uh, the saltwater crocodile. All right, um, got something over here. Excellent. I will claim that. Thank you very much. Take the extra money. Time to hit play. And let's see if you will... Um, wow, no, you will not. Come on now. Really, eh? It's not able to get down here. Wild. There we go. There we go. And yes, it is... It, oh, you know what? It is able to climb up here. So that's neat. That is neat. Uh, we could try and pull it out there. Yeah, some way or another. I don't mind how this is looking. Good stuff. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now, are you happy with your space? You are. You have plenty of space. More than enough space. So that's good. That's good. And yeah, see if we just add a little bit of green here and there. It'll help bring the space to life. Literally and figuratively speaking. Add some of you. Go ahead and get some more of that action in here. There we go. Oh, going in for a swim already. There we go. Look at that. Don't just watch. Donate. That's the kind of zoo we are. Just drop donation bins right next to you. Um, 
Let's go ahead and check if we have any more. We do. We want what? We want a female, right? Come on. Come on. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait for that, but it, it, it'll... It'll come through, I'm sure. Eventually. Just a matter of time. Alright, so that's pretty good. This is pretty good. It is roaming around. It's got enough space. It's happy with the space it has. Um, it seems overall pretty content. It, I say, he seems overall pretty content. Now, he's on the older side as well, so I'm hoping that, you know, we haven't... haven't messed this up again. Sterility, we're halfway there, postulated. Oh, so we don't know for sure. We're about halfway there. Do I need to move this donation bin down to here? Because I will. I'll also move the education board down to there as well. Like, if this is where... Like it's like you gotta find where the animal's going to rest and then just... take advantage of it. Oh man, this kid. This kid is asking for trouble. That's why the croc's over here. His, like, his toes are hanging off the edge there. Well, hey, I'm glad they're having a good time. Not good enough time, apparently. Anyway, enough complaining about people not donating. The money will come. The money will come. I'm glad that the movement is a possibility. I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to convince the animal to spend more time over there. But once we have babies and stuff, I think we'll see a fair bit of that. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm happy enough to, to let that be as is. Those little feet. Do they spend most of their time in the water or, or, or not? Not social animals. Unlikely to fight. Okay. Mm. They do have a big water like space requirement, but that doesn't necessarily mean they stay mostly in the water. Anyway, uh, we got to get the crocodiles in as well. That's going to be another adventure to build this uh, area out. Now, there, the crocs have a massive amount of space. Man, that waterfall has come along really nicely. Got distracted by it. Crocs will have a massive amount of space. Uh, looks like Buddy's content just swimming around for now. Overall, money's looking great right now. We do have some refunds coming through. Might be because of the polar bears. You know what? It's fine. Whatever. We're making money. That's what matters. We just had that one year of uh, of, of financial woe. I don't know if we can even call it that, but we're, we're bouncing back now. And what's the deal over here? You are just camped out there, aren't you? Hold on. Can you not get down? You can. It's like every time I look, though, she's up here. Every time I look, she's up there. I, I mean, like, I almost wonder, like, should I keep an eye on her? Make sure she's able to get down? Should I just box her and move her down? And then and then adjust the, the treehouse? Because I think the treehouse might need some adjusting. Go ahead and do that. Alright, and then we can go ahead and select everything over here. Except for you and you. Deselect the trees. Deselect more of these lights. And the sprinkler. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and group this. And let's drop you. Down to about there. How's that? Whoa. Whoa. Frame rate dropped a couple times there. It's a bit more reachable. I think we're just recalculating the uh, habitat. All right, they can still get up over here. Yep. Not as easily though. When it was up over here, the habitat's blue, or like this, uh, the treehouse is blue. So if I redo that, oh, it's because of the tree branch. That doesn't make sense. If I move this tree down. The same branches over here instead. What happens then? Uh, it says they can climb, but it doesn't say they can stay up there. Gotta be careful with these adjustments. Otherwise, I might lose the, uh, the joy of seeing them come up here. I also don't want to lose my ability to undo. Yeah, I'm, 
I'm not sure. Oh no. Okay, there we go. They're back. We'll have to, you know, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. Ooh, yes! Yes! Offspring due December of this year. Wonderful. I saw them playing down there. I was like, is that is that the mating? I didn't want to jinx it, so I didn't want to point it out. I don't want to say anything. But it seems that, you know what? Yes, it was them, in fact, uh, mating. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, here's what we're going to do. One, one quick thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and keep this thing grouped. And move it up. Let's just see if that did the trick there. Uh, the reason why I want to keep a group is because I don't want to have to go through the hassle of having to select it again. There we go. Okay, so you're able to reach up over here. Fair enough. We're going to figure out the details of that later. But, folks, we have uh, we have little uh, tiger kittens en route for later this year. This, though, is where we're going to call it a session. It's been, uh, it's been a longer one than expected. The time lapses were... A bit more involved than I, I'd expected them to be, but I'm happy that we did them. I'm happy that the uh, the Gariel seems to be having a good time, uh, and we're going to be ending on yeah a good note uh, of this news of incoming, of inbound, um, of inbound uh, tiger cubs. We got a bunch of animals in storage as well that I can look to uh, releasing into the wild or even just uh, trying to get some trades done. We have some high quality animals actually uh, with with the with the tortoises, but. We'll, uh, you know what? Okay, why, why, why not? Why not? Let's, let's do this real quick. But take a look and see the Galapagos tortoises. The prices that we're getting over here. Why does the market seem so dead right now? Wild. 275 for, for this? Really? Okay. Okay, I mean, I get ours are better. I mean, look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and trade you for, I'd say 300 is a fair price. Come on now. Now let's get Louise up there as well. Louise or Louis. Game's not even letting me select other animals. There we go. All right, 300 for you as well. Let's go. Uh, you're obviously not worth as much. So let's try 150 for you. And you as well, please. Come on, come on. You're worth a little bit more because of the appeal there. So let's go ahead with 200. I don't know if any of these will sell, but I figure, you know, if they do sell, then they'll be sold between now and the next session, uh, play session. Uh, and, and then we'll have some more conservation credits to literally play with. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. I certainly did. It's always a joy to get new animals in and to make progress on our uh uh, enclosures and are you know aesthetic and whatnot i'm pretty happy with how things are looking in the southeast asia section happy with uh, this waterfall happy with the uh, the gurriel section as well but as always i turn to you for your feedback and your thoughts so let me know what you think in the comments down below as always if you had a good time make sure you leave a like and a comment it makes a very big difference as i've said countless times the high approach content on the channel we will be getting more greenery don't worry for the gurriel and the croc but it is time for me to bid you farewell for today as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.